Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to show you how to make a bisque a French uh, soup. So it's very simple, easy and uh, you will need uh, shrimp, uh, the shells of shrimps with heads and tails if you have tails. And the soup allows you to not to waste them and instead of that you can turn them into something delicious. So uh, you will need uh, 200 grams of uh, shrimp shells tails, mm, 60 grams of carrot, one carrot, 60 grams of onion, 80 grams of carrot, 60 grams of onion, 40 grams of celery. This is optional, just my idea, but you can use the celery if you want. Um, a little bit of chili pepper, three cloves of garlic, uh, with German side it's fine. The one tablespoon of rice, is, which is also optional, but uh, it's better to use this. Uh, white wine, you can replace it with water. We're gonna deglaze de de with this. And uh, tomato sauce, I'm gonna use salsa, around two tablespoons. Uh, you can use any tomato sauce you want, you can use tomato paste, that's totally fine. So let's start by um, cutting the vegetables in large dices. Brinoise, it's called in French. So when you cut them, just put one on the other. make this large dices. Then let's cut the onions. By the way, other than that you will need heavy cream and uh, croutons, a little bread for croutons and uh, spring onions for decoration, but that's optional. S still it's good to have it because decoration is important for serving. Then let's cut the celery. It's so-called mirepoix, uh, combination of uh, carrots, onions and uh, celery with garlic uh, cut in uh, medium dices, but uh, traditionally mirepoix requires you to have two parts of onions to one part of carrots and to one part of celery, but since the onions are extremely expensive here, so it's not <laughs> a reduced amount of onions here, so it's not really traditional mirepoix. Meanwhile, let's start preheating the pan medium heat let's cut the garlic the pan is preheated add some vegetable oil add vegetables together with the chili and give them some color, mix them until they're slightly brown. On medium heat, constantly stir the vegetables, give them some color. You don't want to add too much, too ma much vegetables, otherwise they will overshadow the taste of the shrimps. I increase the heat, the pan is preheated and then we add all these shells. We're gonna fry them for a while in order to uh, get some flavor from them so they will the flavor will be enhanced by the heat. You can add a little bit more oil, just a splash, and stir it for about four or five minutes. It's been around three four minutes, uh, the smell is just amazing, and then you glaze it with white wine and just just a little increase the temperature so when you add white wine it uh, gathers all the flavors so uh, from the pan and transmits uh, them to the shrimps and to the rest of the uh, products after all the wine evaporates you can add tomato sauce. Uh, if you use tomato paste, um, I recommend adding it in the beginning together with the vegetables because it's a uh, savor and uh, you will need to remove this acidity by exposing it to high temperature. So 
the wine the wine evaporated add two te tablespoons of tomato juice or salsa then add water around twice as the volume of the shrimps and everything bring it to a boil and then cook it um, simmer it for about 30-40 uh, minutes until the shrimps are completely soft and gentle so after it reaches uh, uh, it starts boiling I'll put it in another pan and uh, start cooking it slowly it started boiling I add black pepper I add salt well, about two pinches of salt then I add the rice it will help uh, the soup to be to coagulate to be more thick the thicker then we bring it to a boil I'm gonna put it in another pot and now I'm gonna cook it for about 30 minutes at low temperature until the shrimps are completely soft meanwhile let's make croutons um, I'm gonna use uh, a little bit of slightly melted butter around 10 7 grams powdered garlic around one teaspoon and I'm gonna chop some parsley leaves chop them like that until they're very fine add it to the butter and mix these are nice and amazing buns that I made today it's homemade bread I'm gonna use them for croutons taste is gonna be amazing so just cut them around these dices meanwhile let's preheat the pan around medium medium temperature this uh, mixture requires some vegetable oil I gotta tell you it smells already it already smells amazing so cut all the buns that's around four buns of this size I'm gonna soak them in this oil eventually I decided to use only three buns that should be enough and coat it in all this amazing aromatic oil Next, let's put them on the pan, on the preheated pan, and start constantly mixing. Uh, mix them until they're fry them until they're dry. Don't forget to mix, otherwise they will burn. It will take around three, four minutes. It's been around four minutes. They're really good. The smell is amazing. So I think we can turn off the heat and let them cool down a little. And here they are, very nice and uh, have really nice smell. It's been around 40-50 minutes, uh, so this is ready. Let's uh, blend it at high speed. You can use a hand blender or you can use a stationary blender and uh, blend it until it's totally smooth. Next, let's, let's strain it. I blended it for around 3 minutes. You can use a big spoon to push it through in order to remove any big uh, chunks and pieces. Uh, that's the end result. All the pieces of shells are here. So let's remove anything. And then you have this, this amazing soup. I just tasted it. It, it, it has an amazing taste. W very ri rich and uh, yeah so it's a really good way to deal with your uh, shrimp shells instead of uh, throwing them out now I'm gonna serve it and here it is a bisque with croutons um, I added a little bit of heavy cream for decoration and some uh, spring onions and that's pretty much it uh, it has an amazing taste uh, I, I really like this 
so I recommend uh, making it at home if you have time. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel to see new videos. Uh, thank you.